Hey friends, we see a lot of people use newspaper for making and creating beautiful crafts. Today, I am making use of newspaper again, but to do something different. Welcome back to my channel, Mads World of Passion. To make these four beautiful art pieces, I have made use of newspaper and some of the other waste materials. Now here I have used a cardboard on which I have stuck newspaper on both the sides. Now here this is something I am creating for my daughter's room. All the four art pieces my daughter has supported me and helped me in doing this. In fact the first two art is totally made by my daughter. Now here she has drawn an illustration on one side and on the other side she wanted a little help from me because she wanted to create a tree of life. So I helped her in giving an outline to the tree in which she wanted the trunk to be a little big where she could write some quote. Till date she has not come up with any quote so I am just keeping all the art you know pieces uh, blank but yes you can display quotes on these now here on the front side she has drawn four birds sitting on a branch and uh, one thing what you have to make sure while creating any such art pieces especially when you're using newspaper and painting on it you have to ensure that your you, you know your acrylic color here you know i've used all acrylic colors it should not be too watery because otherwise, you know, there is chances of uh, the paper getting torn and all that. So here, initially, my daughter had that problem. Um, you know, she had made uh, the acrylic color a little watery. Now here for the green color, she's using the acrylic marker that she got from one of the products when she purchased from Imagine Make. But that was a little light in shade. I mean, very light green, which is not so vibrant and visible so i repainted everything while she was asleep after she finished everything i thought i should be helping her out because she had to do it all over again so i painted it with the green acrylic color and the birds here she's colored in different uh, you know colors and then an outline with black sketch pen now here you can use sketch pen because you know it's not any canvas or something so you don't have to use permanent marker you can just use sketch pen and the first art that my daughter made is all ready. Allow the acrylic colors to dry completely before you flip and start painting on the other side. Now here I've drawn a tree with some branches and leaves and all that. So initially what you've got to do is make an outline because otherwise you know on the newspaper you won't be able to see where you need to paint and where not to paint because this was a different kind of an art. In the first art you saw the paper on the outside of the you know art that was made was kept blank. I, I mean to say the branches, the leaves and the birds were painted and the surrounding was kept in the uh, same way that it was that is the newspaper was visible. Here it is a different thing. I am keeping the tree blank and I am painting the outside of the tree. I'm using a royal blue color to paint the outside of the tree and for the leaves I'm using a sky blue color. This one I would say was slightly difficult for my daughter to do. She has done everything, all the painting and uh, if you notice, you know, the branches are all kept blank and the outside is painted with the royal blue color and the leaves I've used a sky blue color as I said. Now here you can change the combination. You can Keep any two combination in such a way that the um, you know outside part is darker in shade and the leaves are in lighter in shade. Maybe green, light green, dark green, royal pink and light pink. So this way you complete this artwork. Now to give a nice uh, you know frame kind of a look to this artwork I am using this black craft paper and I've made a tube like this and I'm sticking it on all four sides with the help of Fevicol and this is how beautiful the art is looking on the walls of my daughter's room. Time to do the third art piece for which I'm using the newspaper again. 
I am cutting them in this square shape like this and making tubes. Now the size of the square and the tubes that you make depends on the size of the paper plates that you use. Now here I am going to make some tubes like this and I am going to make use of this small tiny little paper plate which is uh, you know something that is uh, was discarded which is not used at home so I thought I should be making something out of it. So here I am drawing a ballerina girl and I am using these tubes to stick on um, you know on this paper plate which would look like a frock that this lady dancing lady is wearing. So here I am giving it a background by using two different colors. Um, little birdie again these are chalk paints that I've used one thing what you need to make sure while you're creating any newspaper art especially these kind of painting related art you shouldn't be using newspapers that have bold and bright prints you have to take newspapers which have very subtle prints like black and white prints which would highlight your artwork so that is something you have to, you know, be careful while you're making cuttings or, you know, making any such piece of art. These four art, whatever I've created, all of them were made for my daughter's room only. And so she was very excited. I made this uh, during her summer vacations recently. And, you know, these are nice uh, stress bursters, I, I would say, for kids. Uh, you know, whenever they have something, some free time, I think they can try their hands on these simple craft and see how beautiful it is looking on one of the shelves of my daughter's room. Now moving on to the fourth art. Here again, I'm using a newspaper which has very little and uh, subtle prints on them. No bright prints. I'm folding the newspaper and cutting them in the shape of leaves. Now here I have taken three different sizes of leaf shape here because I wanted it to look a certain way when I paste them on a surface which you would see later. Once we take the cutting I made use of a very old you know artistic uh, paper sheet that I had which was used for some other purpose before. I colored it with the help of black chalk paint. If you do not have this, you can definitely make use of cardboard and uh, color the entire surface with black color, actually color or chalk paint. Here I'm using chalk paint. Then I use the black dust from Fevicryl, which actually I couldn't stick on the surface without the help of Fevicol. Well, I corrected it later with the help of the metallic wax. Now here I have stuck a small paper circle in the center and around that I stuck these uh, you know leaf shaped paper cuttings around it in different shapes to create a certain pattern and then I've left the sides of this a little bit so that you can write any quotes either horizontally or vertically you just add a little shine on this I added fevicol and I you know use these sequence stars um, beads in the center and then it was eventually framed of course I have not written any coat as of now okay so this way we complete the fourth and final art and I have framed this and this is how it looks now if you people are recreating this then do not forget to share this on my Instagram account see you all soon in my next video but before leaving do Subscribe to my channel, like this video. Bye-bye.